there and welcome back to Circuit the World. My name's Alice and today we are back in Glitch in the System, which I didn't realise the menu was changing. I reckon the menu was changing for every game, so we got a different menu this time. Last time we got to the start of Chapter 2. I briefly got into Chapter 2. Well, briefly. I went a little bit into Chapter 2. I got excited and wanted to keep playing. Um, but basically, Monica deleted everyone from the game and then kind of spoke to us directly. Uh, Sean and Jack then got split again and we're stuck in the recycle bin. We're now trying to get out of Portal with Wheatley to reunite Sean and Jack because they got separated. That's basically what happened. We have no idea where Cliff, Jenny or Billy is uh, currently, but hopefully we'll find them soon. There's no need to keep rambling. You should have seen the video before if you wanted to know what happened before. And if you haven't, hold it. What are you doing? Stop. Who starts a series in the middle of the series? Go back, playlist is linked somewhere, put the playlist in the description. Hell, I'll put the playlist right on screen now. If you have not seen the first three videos in this playlist, what are you doing? Catch up, I'll see you in a bit. So I appreciate now that everyone is here, is already up to speed. So we don't need to, we need to talk about what's going on. Let's just get into it. All right, Wheats, what you got for me? One. Oh shit. Oh crap, I forgot to mention you're supposed to press the buttons in the right. Can I keep going? Like Wee! Okay. Whoosh. Oh, whoosh. Oh, whoosh. How do I do this then? Sure you were paying attention? Hmm. Because Problem if I do that, I'm going to slippity, slippity slop. Hooray. Yeah. Let's Good do it like you. this. Wee! Blog. <sighs> Niceness. Uh, yeah. Now I'm going to get up here. Turn on that. Bonk. Wee! 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 Hell yeah. That was fun. Whoosh! Alright. Here's a fun little tip for you. Aww! This room from above, the gels and plants are in the shape of a heart. Cute! Really? I mean, I guess I kind of see it, but I still have to take your word for it. That's a shame. Wish you could see it. Anyway, it's just my little way of saying thanks. And no hard feelings. If you like puns and human humor so much, you should have said no heart feelings. <laughs> oh? Well, it's not so much of a pun, is it? As part of the Nonamoron Club activity, he's been reading a bit more sciencey books, yeah. Turns out the human heart has no pain receptors in it. Just on the outside. So no hard feelings indeed. I, uh, kills the joke a bit, but yeah, interesting. Mm -hmm. Blown away by I am, I didn't know that. It, it gets better, you're gonna love this. It ties into the room. Why am I so brilliant in hindsight? Anyway, the pain receptors are all on the outside of it, and they're detected by the same receptors that pick up spicy foods. Okay. And how does that relate here? The green gel, it's spicy and will melt right through your shoes and skin. Not everything else if you stand on it for too long. Okay. I'm smelling limes, though. It's chili lime. I couldn't decide, honestly. So it's both spicy and acidic. Brilliant. We'll eat right through everything. Tongues included. Don't eat it. <laughs> right. So keep moving and don't eat. And no hard feelings. And no hard feelings. Okay. Uh, I need the shortest dis... I've got to go all the way up the top. I've got to go in like this. I'm going to have to sprint again, I reckon. Go, 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 go. Okay. Okay, we're all good, we're all good. Again. We're fine. I got this. I'm so good. I'm going to regret that almost instantly. I just have a feeling. Yeah. Boom! Right. Oh, shit. Things are... Uh Getting a bit more complicated. Why are the turrets red? I'm sure it's fine. Just to, uh, mind the turrets. Somehow, I don't think turrets are supposed to be red. What's up with them? Oh. Oh, oh, I did experiment a bit with them. Didn't I? Let's see. They did. Hold on. Right, right. There are, uh, there are another version of the spear models. In oh, them. giddy. Lethal, cost effective. I'm telling you, you know, wherever the state aperture's in, they'd be thanking me for economizing. Spears? Right, because yes, I know, but he but doesn't. This was the first prototype of that. So, don't give them two squares of them and you won't get hurt. I know it might look like they're hitting you, but 
they basically become useless if they travel far enough. Okay. Which, which is two squares. Like I said, it was a first attempt. Okay. Well, the first thing I need simple. to... Sorry. Too simple, in fact. Which is why there's a higher power version of green and blue. Oh, shit. We've not seen the blue ones. The green ones were the ones we have with uh, Jack. Please tell me Jack doesn't have the high-powered ones. Uh, he doesn't. Because of the tone of your voice and the level of stress hormones in your body, you would be upset if he did. But as president of a, a moron club, <laughs> I did not. He is not. He's, he's fine. Yeah. How much further until I reach him? Or farther? Not much. Just, uh, I'll get out of your way now. Wonderful. Okay, just remember the blue turrets, which are even. Would you please? Sorry. Okay. No blue turrets in here. I don't think. Uh, I can't walk in within two squares of them. I need to get... Oh. I have a flamey... Whoa! Shit. I totally didn't consider that that one was going to try and fire at me. Okay. And he will, but I'm just not close enough. Uh, We're about to find out. No, we're not! Oi, they're fast, though. Quick little buggers, aren't they? Okay. This is fine. Everything is fine. Jesus, they shoot diagonally. Didn't think about any of this stuff. Where's number three? Oh, God, this is terrifying. Stop it! I'm scared. Okay. Wait, shit. How do I get to number seven? Move quickly. Okay, this sit around, is fine. On Horace de Ovres, discussing philosophy. Everything about Aristotle. I'm fine. Sorry. I should probably be listening to him. So just sit tight. Five. There must be six. It's fine. Go, 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 Wheatley, you there? Oh, shit. Listen, if this is about earlier, I'm sorry, but I really needed to concentrate. Oh? What about now? Well, yeah, shortly, but listen, Wheatley, you're good company when I'm not trying to solve tests, okay? Do you really mean that? Not just saying it to get back your position as the vice president? <laughs> what? Ah, uh, it's nothing really, because I'm, I'm not interviewing your position, <laughs> just because I thought you were angry. Not just at me, but I in general. Oh shit, this is Slippy Goo. Where's number one? Oh. Christ. This is hurting my brain. I, okay, listen, as flattered as I am that you wanted me to be the vice president, I really need to get out of here. So you'll need to interview anyway. You don't want to be in the not a moron club? We had this conversation last I time. I mean, it's open to all not morons out there like you and me. It's a highly prestigious honor. Or will be, hmm. once we're accredited. Haven't signed for that yet. Seriously, I need to get Jack and go on so I can run my computer properly and save it first. So, really, I'm okay with it. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, that's, that's fine. Oh, Wheatley, uh, I'm uh, sorry. Uh, keep interviewing candidates, I guess. Oh, I'm sorry, bro. Uh, as for the test, it's basically everything up to this point. Should be a breeze for a not moron like yourself. Have at it. Thanks. Wheaters. Wheatabix. Um. Do you reckon there's two? There is two squares, so I should be safe. Oops, that was shit. Oh, shit. To do this. Ah! Okay, we're fine. Gotta go over here. Number one. If I sprint down here, I should be fine. Two. Sprint, 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 sprint. Okay. Uh, 
I kind of want to go here. Down here again. Yep. Wee Three. Wee Wee I see how it is. Aperture doesn't Wee. pay for a few orders, and all of a sudden you want to deliver to Wee. What do you mean that's the how a credit card works? Yeah? <laughs> so do you. Wheatley, what are you doing, bro? We can forget about the horse uh, ovaries. Everyone's got food allergies, and there isn't a single caterer Jesus. who will work with you if Aperture is even so much as sucking the engine's business card. Can you believe it? Five. That? Uh. How am I gonna get to this then? Mm -hmm. Oh, I can, I can walk on three now. It's fine. So just reverse, reverse operate what I just did. Or oh, I would have just gone straight back up, but then I would have been in shooting range of the um, turret. So we're going to go back the way we were. And then again, what I'm going to do is what I did to get down to two. Uh, yeah, that's two across. We're fine. Woo! Freedom! I'm backstage. Oh, this is so cool. Players and catwalks are cool. All right, I can run with that. Oh, I just looked down. That's a long drop. Everyone laughs when you do your little spiel about not looking down, but now I'm here. I get it. Exactly. It wasn't funny. It was bloody terrifying. But as official non-morons, we can certainly find our way to Jack pretty easily. Actually, uh, he's not in the test chamber. Uh-oh. Actually, no. And he didn't solve it either. What? Did he? Oh no, not again. I can't have more test subjects eating their way through the floor. It's gonna be... Well, it won't be that expensive to repair the flooring, but his teeth... He escaped? That's a very strong word, escape. Yeah. He, he didn't escape. I mean, I was gonna no, do it with him anyway, but I don't know where he's gone. Confinement, and I have no idea where he is. But he didn't... Escape. That's escaping. Can you do a scan or something? <sighs> okay, look around. It's not down. The scan of this entire facility would take ages. We'd be here for hours, and Jack would probably be long gone by the time we locate him. <laughs> At this point, he'd have to do something really obvious for us to find him. Like, find the blue turrets, maybe? Oh, like that? Yeah, actually, exactly like that. Brilliant. Wait, wait that's the sound of... Alternate core detected. Uh oh. Initiating protocol two zero seven three two six. Shit. Hey. Wheatley. What are you doing? No. 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 Stop that. Stop. Ah! Wheatley. Wheatley. What happened? Oh, hey, Jack. Fancy seeing you here. I did something stupid. Run. What did you do? Set up the self-destruct. Um. Not exactly. GLaDOS? Into it. Core replacement successful. Oh shit. Did did you just make a core of yourself and put it in charge of the entire facility? Look, I didn't put it in charge of the facility. I just thought it'd be cool to see what a core of me would look like. Then why is it in Wheatley's control room? I don't know, I just... Oh. Wheatley said something about him being last in line to operate this place. So that's probably an automatic process once the sensors a new core. And you only now remembered this? Well, maybe it won't be so bad. I can totally run this place just as well as anyone. Press all the buttons. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, my God. That's really cool. Okay, maybe not. We have to find Wheatley now. Well, I think the control room's um, maybe the way I didn't go. Now let's going to move on. Oh, God. <laughs> Sean, why? Oh, hey. How's it going? Oh, the Cavalry has arrived. Nice to see you again, Jack. Ha! <laughs> we just. How you doing? Well, I'm just sitting here contemplating my life choices. <laughs> like not incinerating you. Very. <laughs> right now. Well, we need to do something about this before Jack's little counterpart destroys this place and prevents us from being able to save all of Wyland. Okay, well, I can't do much about that line here, can I? Pick me up and we'll figure something out. At the very least, I can probably get you through here without getting hurt. Well. Was well, seriously hurt at any rate. Okay, I yeah, I. 
I, I actually went the way I was supposed to go, which is slightly annoying. I don't like doing that. Yeah, sorry. I missed an area. Damn it! Okay, wait. Let's go this way then, Aweetus. So, right about this area, it's got a couple of... Uh, let's call them oh, complications. Shit. Minor complications. I'm alarmed already. Is this something we're going to want to know about? Probably not, but we're heading into the room I used to basically dump everything in in order to test their functionality. A room full of untested new technology. Oh, oh no, they, they've all been tested in that room. Which is how I know exactly how dangerous they are. So listen closely, because I'm only going to say this once. Why only once? If we forget something and die, you're screwed. Because, trust me, there won't be time to correct you. Now, you all know the purposes of the jails, right? Or it's basically a flask, yes. blue oh, God. Jump, white conducts portals. Uh, but you don't have a portal gun, so don't worry about that one. Okay. Uh, bounce. Yeah, bounce gel and speedy gel. Or just shit. The green gel you can't still can't stand, stand on. Still on. And the purple, purple just slippery. Very slippery. Easy to remember. Orange fast, blue bounce. Green don't stop. Purple slide. God, it's like the um, schneek pills all over again. Green and purple? I never saw green and purple. Now you know what they do, so shh. There's another gel that didn't quite make it to the human testing phase. Or, or, or wouldn't have if I had human test subjects. Uh, and the robots who tested it can't give you a very good assessment of it because they are, in fact, in several pieces. What color is that? They're what? As it happens, amateur science, quite a lot of tests involving lemons. The purple gel was actually something of a failed experiment, but in retrospect, using lemon juice from the lemons in a box with the, with the giant danger sign was not a good idea. Why on earth did you make anything out of lemons with warning signs on them? The internet told me that if I had a lot of lemons, I needed to make lemonade. <laughs> Don't touch the yellow gel. Got it. And avoid the turrets. Especially oh, the God. They're the final model, and they're great when you want to protect the building, but terrible when you want to get into it. Oh, and the colored squares, uh, they do things, too. Uh, the blue one is a pool. It's, 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 it's oh God. A, a two by two. There's so much to remember here. Cool. So uh, careful of step into it. The other squares aren't explosive, they're safe. Uh, unless you're wearing deodorant, then they're explosive. Four squares, they're impossible, so you can't go through them, but neither can the turret spears. And the red squares, they, uh, you know, I don't actually remember what those do. So just don't step on those. I'm gonna die. Or do, if you have to. But be careful. I'm sure it's no big deal. My mind's a steel, like a steel trap. I won't forget anything. Don't touch green, yellow is slippery, purple makes you go fast, and brown makes you only move backwards. None of that was correct. He's not invited into our club. <laughs> You're what? Nothing, let's go! Oh, I'm gonna die. I am going to die. Oh. There is so much to remember. Alright, just ignore the white turrets, they're obsolete. I haven't filled them with you know, bullets in about six months, so as long as they use up their supply, everything will be fine. Okay, this is easy. Wait, what? Oh. Just use this big brain of yours to figure out how to get out of here. Should be easy for a couple of not morons to accomplish. Oh Basically, god. I can Neither see colors, no, right numbers. And some cookies. Yep, everything's fine if we just keep... Wait, did we just... We did. Oh, oh that's better. Thank that's god. perfect. Okay, next area should be a piece of cake. <sighs> cake that isn't a lie. I knew that was way too much information for this me to try and remember. Squad. So you might want to run for it. Hopefully the orange okay. gel will be fast enough to get you past the turret. Okay. Do not touch the yellow gel because you will explode and kill us all. Okay. Not to like put any pressure on you or anything. Just Oh just, just god. Do okay, okay, okay. I'm going to just whoopoosh. Yeah. We're going to come down as low as possible. Run for your lives! Ah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that didn't work. Christ. Go, 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 go. Oh! I don't want to hear it. I had that. I don't actually think if I keep running straight, I will end up in yellow gel. Yeah, okay, cool. Shit. Run for your lives! Okay, let's just... Wapoosh again. Oh Christ! Run, 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 run! Okay. Oh, 
Okay, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. We saved again, which was always the play. I've got to just start on the, I've got to, I can't. Okay. How do you do this? But also up. Yeah, I can. Aha! Yes, boys. Okay. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 Yes! We made it! Hooray! <sighs> celebration! No, celebration comes later. Oh. We're at the room right before the main control room, which should be fairly easy to get through just so long as you have the passcode. What passcode? Perfect! What's the passcode? I kept forgetting it, so I set up a nice little reminder oh, for myself. Oh, shit. Now, now, let's see. I put it... Uh, oh, okay... This might be a little more complicated than I expected. Somehow, I'm not surprised. Okay, good news is my setup is not completely obliterated. Good. Bad news is it's been reset. Perfect. So, we can't figure it out? No, we can figure it out. No, 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 we can. <laughs> Follow me. See that keypad there? You can try different combinations as many times as you want and it won't knock you out. Good. Great. There are only a couple of thousand possible combinations. Shouldn't take us too long. And in the spirit of not being a moron, I did install some way of figuring it out without all the trial and error. The screen also tells you how many numbers you got in the right place and how many uh, are correct, but in the wrong place. Okay. That's why there's a correct and close screen, isn't it? Exactly. All you have to do is try out combinations until all of them are correct. And if you get something that's close, that means it's one of the numbers in the combination, but it's in the wrong place. Okay. So I could theoretically get all the numbers correct, but in the wrong place, and then all I'd have to do would be rearrange them until they're in the right place. Now you're getting it! But uh, you, you might want to hurry things along. I don't know how long that core is going to go before deciding to do something very stupid. That's everything! Alright. Looks like none of the numbers will repeat. That makes it a little easier. Well, here goes nothing. Okay. Am I clicking? Yeah. So let's try. Oh. 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 oh okay. Okay. No problem. Just take your time. No rush. Press the wrong oh. button. Well, that's a lie. Actually, there's a bit of a rush. But if you're stressing out, no rush at all. Just pretend there's no rush. Pretend everything's fine. And when you're ready, go on back in. Okay, I'm ready. Right. Sorry, that's my mistake. Let's just do it easy. Da 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 da. Okay. Oh, this is painfully annoying. Okay, so the five or the six was in the correct place, but it means that it's... That doesn't make sense. Because I've got two close here. I think the six is correct. Too close, none correct. Okay, so five is the third number in the sequence. Too correct. Shit. Okay, so the four was correct. Four, something, five, something. Okay, four and five are correct. Four, seven, five, eight. Uh, four... Six, five, nine. Four, nine, five, two. Yes! Now that's a relief. I'm amazing. I wasn't sure if I was completely misremembering my own programming. <laughs> Thanks, sweetly. Makes me feel confident. So now we can replace the core? Well, sure. If we can get past all oh, Glados' firewalls, no. that's going to take some time. And a big old <sighs> Brilliant. Ooh, me! I have a big smarty brain. 
You know what? I think this might be a better task for me. From what I can see here, we need a core powerful enough to corrupt the Jack one, but there are tons of powerful defenses against that. If we can weaken them somehow. Can I blow up the power supply? Okay, you might be slightly smarter than I thought because that might work. We just have to send someone into the control room with him. So I get to stool him and blow up the power supply? Alright, I can do that. And you two get on making the corruptor thingy. Great! Let's go! Great. This doesn't feel like a good idea, but I'm now playing as Jack again. Can I have a look at anything else? I'm still looking for time. I should get out there. Okay. Oh. Okay. You have to remember that this game is still in development. I can't explore anything. So some things aren't you potentially spin quite me right. Right round, baby, right round, like a record, baby, right round, round, round. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, yoo-hoo, hello, down here. Your old pal Jacker Boy is here to play. Welcome to my crib. This is my house. Jack, are you in there? If you're there, I've had an idea. Is there a switch on him? A big switch that says off? Just <laughs> just a switch or maybe a button, really. Anything that says off, because if you flip it or press it, that might work. Okay, come on, Wheatley. You'd be the first to know there's no off switch. Weren't you just in his place? I don't know if I call that. This configuration's like nothing I've ever seen before. Completely different. What sort of massive robot relies on a bunch of batteries? Even if it's for backup power, there's always a chance of... Uh, that. Actually, exactly that. In fact, hang on. You, you can't pick that up, can you? Can you pick that up? I don't know. Maybe there's a way to throw it somewhere. Maybe in Make the sure incinerator behind me? It destroys it. Get it? <laughs> enter. Make sure you press enter. Is, is, is kind of what I was getting at. And, uh, not to scare you, but just so you know, it is very possible to walk right into that big glowing okay. circle in the Thank middle you. of the room and die painfully. Don't do that. Not quite instantly, no. Uh, if screaming turrets were an indication. <laughs> okay. Cool. So if I just have me this and then, uh, let's do that. Core power supply at 90%. Warning. Alternate core required at 0%. Got it. Excuse me? <laughs> Wait a minute, Brainwave. This is brilliant. Brilliant. If we can shake off the rest of these batteries, you might stand a chance. I mean, why would you? Wouldn't have anyways, but, you know, better odds. Much better odds. Ha! <laughs> you know what this is? It's finally happened. Are you ready for this? This is the part where I help you. Yay! Just hang on there. We'll shake him down for you. What a murderer! Killing all of my friends! <laughs> oh. Um, these batteries aren't sentient, are they? No idea, so let's, let's say no. <laughs> no, they're not. They make you feel... Oh, sorry. Not really, but I don't have a choice right now, do I? Oh, actually, you've got plenty of choices if that's what you're worried about. For example, you could leave. Never save Aperture. That's always an option leaving if you want to actually save us then no no choices sorry about that i mean no i'm not okay let's go da, da, da. Boing. okay we played around long enough jackos you have to give the facility back to wheatley i mean this place is falling apart the seams look at it yeah you tell him jack wait hang on hang on he just changed the code what even is this monster <laughs> Bye, Wheatless! Chadley! Oh no! What did you do? It's fine, he's okay, just dazed. Oh, okay, I see how it is. I guess going into Gladys' archives very clever, very clever. It doesn't really matter. It's supposed to just part of tricks, keep him distracted. As long as he doesn't have access to directory 378B, he can't do anything that sticks. Well done. Nice. Uh, wait, this thing was on? Uh, forget I said that. Take that from your memory, because I made that up. Yep, the directory is just 300 recordings of, uh, verticals. Very annoying. I'm probably looking if I read, not even once. Uh-oh, turrets. There's Shit. Turrets. Full disclosure, the bird call thing was a lie. Don't know how we salted that one. Okay, oh. same to you. Keep doing what you're doing. Except ah, that's two helpful. Closer than two squares away from them. And don't panic. I'll try not to. Here. No problem. Nothing to worry about. Okay, so you can see where the turrets are sitting. I've now got, like, red stars on the ground. Which means so long as I'm not in the red stars, we're fine. Which is great. 
But I feel like this is about to ramp up. There's a reason I'm gonna get in two at a time. Ah, damn it. Keep throwing the batteries in. We're coming up with an alternative core to corrupt him. Shannon, you can't do it with only one. It takes at least three to corrupt him. And I told you, this one will definitely do it by itself. Trust me. Right, keep fighting. We're hard at work here. How do I get this one, though? Or is it... I'll just, I'll just spend this two minutes doing my taxes. <laughs> Reading children <laughs> to sick books. Yeah, you do that. All the taxes and all the books. Holy shite, balls. What is the yellow again? I can't... S ah! Oh, God. Oh, God. There's a whole load of new things to worry about now. Uh, um. Alice is scared and confused and doesn't know what to do. There's no clear path to it. Unless they're green. Can I sprint through the green ones? Was that the, the case? Wait, hang on. One, two, three, four, five. See, it won't shoot now. Oh. Do you reckon if I do that enough, they'll kill each other? Christ, let me jump in. Wasn't six squares away. Oh, okay. Damn it! So what I think I'm going to have to do is use the portal. So if we just tiptoe and do this. Nice. That's fine. Two spots so I can oh, go through here. That's not annoying at all! Do you reckon I can drop it in from any area? I think I need to actually come back here. Be careful. Safe. Okay. We got this. I reckon I can, you know, come in and drop into that from any direction. Okay, because now... Tiptoe by the windows. Easy does it. Easy. Crap. Okay, no, I can't. That is quite annoying. Okay, I got this. I got this, though. I got this down to a science. We're perfectly fine. Everything's great. Everything's great. I had that. We're just going to take this nice and easy. Come on, you got this. One more, one more, one more. This is taking a lot of concentration. Just F to the Y to the I. Doo -doo -doo. We're fine. Everything's fine. Come on, do not mess this up now. Go, go, go! Oh, yeah, baby! Hell yeah. Warning. Core power supply at zero percent. Please attach alternate core. I got the core. Don't worry about attaching it. I'm doing it right Someone now. Sean says he can't. Not sure what kind of core can corrupt him in one go, but it's fine. Experimenting. No apologies in science, remember? Do you know about cuttlefish? Oh, sweet lord! I don't know you two love you. Nobody loves it's you. It's Evie! Everybody love a cold, emotionless, dumbass piece of software. I think that you are easily confused. <laughs> I could shove a fork into my eye. This is and hilarious. I still feel better than talking to Evie. So you are a girl. Everything you say is a lie. Beep, beep, beep. Stop, stop, stop. Potatoes. It's because I'm Irish, isn't it? Give me me lucky charm. I'm not a leprechaun. I command you to admit that you are a bot. <laughs> Kudos. Core replacement complete. <laughs> that was brilliant. <laughs> Great. I, I, I can't believe it. We did it. We did it. Yes. I've already been hooked up. Still not too happy about the whole last in line thing, but blowing up the competition is pretty satisfying. Come on back here. Ooh. I can't believe it. You did it. 
really, I'm completely in shock. He managed to single-handedly defeat the biggest threat to Aperture since Gladys decided it was time mm -hmm. to abolish the entire burn treatment unit. Yes, we are awesome! But okay, I, I did <laughs> help. I, I helped, right? Yeah. I, I was useful. I, I actually stopped him too, didn't I? So that it does make me a hero, right? One of the good guys? Hell yeah. Of course you're one of the good guys. And a true member of the Not-A-Moron Club. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, that feels good. So good, in fact, that I'm going to show you the way out. Thank you, Wheatley. Well, not that I wasn't going to, unless you want to stay on as vice president of the Not-A-Moron Club. We always need janitors. <laughs> no, we want to go. Come on, man. Sean's right here. <laughs> Actually, I was... You know what? Not important. But Step seriously, over it. thank you. Sean, your, your Not-A-Moron status will be Aperture Legend. Jack... Good luck for joining him. Hey! Why would that upset you if we're the same person? I just... Wait. Okay. Can't believe it's actually over. <laughs> it's like... I feel like I'm sending my baby off to college. Oh, but you're my baby. And that baby should be in college. I mean, they have learned how to eat their ABCs and sing their one, two, threes. But... <laughs> man, this is... <laughs> this is oddly emotional. Oh, don't, Wheatley. You okay? What? <laughs> uh... Oh dear. Yes, I'm good. <laughs> Fine. Perfect, really. These aren't tears. They're very manly software malfunctions. <laughs> oh. Over it now. Hey, real men cry. There's nothing wrong with crying. If you need to cry, male, female, dog, cat, orange, whatever. Cry. Everyone should have a good cry every now and then. Suppressing emotions is not healthy. It's okay to cry, Wheatley. Seriously. No need to be embarrassed. No, 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 no tears now. Only beams. Like... Beaming, smiling, not like iron beams. That'd be weird. Now just follow me, and you'll be out. Okay. You know. Please say you're not lying. Okay, I don't think I can track you past this point. So once you get all the way up on the escape escalator, you'll be out of here. Yay. Uh, he means elevator, right? Don't start. He saved our asses, remember? I'm really going to miss you. You know that, right? Well, actually, I I said that already, didn't I? My wee boy. I miss you too, Wheatley, even though you tried to kill me. I miss you too. You did. Several times on the way here, Wheatley. And we'll miss you too. Take care, Wheatley. Good luck with Aperture too. Thank you. Really appreciate it. Bye. Bye. All right. So, how are we going to get back together anyway? Guess we'll have to find out. Maybe Mac will know. Yeah. It's kind of weird that we're all awkward now. We could use this time to really get to know ourselves. Ourself? We could, yeah. I just... I just wanted to say thanks for fighting the core. You brought us all the time. Well, I wouldn't have had to if I hadn't made the core first. I know, but that's just who you are. Who we are. And I'd be lying if I said the impulse wouldn't take over if it were us together faced with the idea of making a core of ourselves. Nah, you'd stop me. You always stop me from doing stupid shit like that. Sure, sometimes we get too excited or curious, but, well, I'd probably be dead if it weren't for you. <laughs> Practical side. Need to keep you alive, and you need to keep things fresh. We work together. The two of us. Better than I thought. That being said, I'd rather just reunite. Me too, and hey, maybe this is just payback for our last meeting. I mean, you did something stupid that nearly got me killed. Might as well return the favor. I guess that's a fair way to look at it. Sorry about that, by the way. I wasn't in a good headspace. You set me straight. You're allowed to have a breakdown. You've been keeping me sane for years. And now we're even, so there's no need to apologize. Besides, if I didn't forgive you, it'd be really awkward when we're the same person again. You can say that again. Oh, I didn't read that. Sorry, and I don't know why it skipped. Very funny. Yeah, definitely can't wait to be the same person. Seriously, though, sorry about the whole Jackus thing. That's okay. You learn from your mistake. Right? Um, if I'm being honest, probably not, no. <laughs> okay, well, you will when we're together. So, Wheatley, huh? Yeah, didn't expect him to be so... Helpful? I was gonna say nice, but helpful works too. I guess we really do have to keep in mind everyone's an actor and not the original characters. Actually, I don't think it was an act. I think, unlike you, he learned his lesson. And we just validated that we were able to learn to trust him again. You think so? 
Yeah, a little bit of forgiveness goes a long way. We're here. Oh, whoa, wait, it's one of the things. It's one of the mayhem machines. Empty hallway, okay, not the worst place we've ended up. I think you mean it's a relief. It's really quiet here. After Portal, it's nice to find somewhere like this. Hang on a minute, is that one of the mayhem machines? Yep. Looks like it. Whoa, I didn't think we'd find one in the recycle bin. Should I deploy these plus one biceps and we call it a day, or... I don't think we should destroy it. We might be able to use it to reverse its effects or something. So, reverse engineering? Sounds a bit complex. It is, but... Hmm. Maybe we just turn it off. That'll at least put the brakes on the power draining so we can work out what to do next. So, option three. Keep it from working. How do we disable it? What? Option three? Hey, you're the one who said no biceps. Hmm. Well, I guess we could try destroying the code here. Oh my Christ. Arrow keys move, spacebar shoot, shift power special attack. Oh God. Oh my God. This is intense. Is it like space invaders? Yeah. Oh God, they're shooting me though. Ah! Ah, I'm so bad at space invaders. Okay, that one will. 60. Do I have lives? I must have lives. Ah, there's a ship! So much is going on and I don't understand anything. Disable complete. Okay. We did it! That's a relief. I guess we have to keep going though. I don't think we can call Mac from here to let him know. Weird, that, mm, okay, fair enough. All right, let's move on. I'm still playing as Jack. Oh. What the hell? Waiting here isn't going to do any good. Maybe I should go back to Byton and see if there's someone there who can help. I don't think there's anyone there who could help, except perhaps Auntie. Although seeing as he's the one who probably caused the problem. Oh no, something else happened, didn't it, whilst we were gone. Monica, what did you do, bro? Oh, thank goodness. We were so, um... I definitely remember there being only one of you when I deleted you. Uh, yeah, about that. The split happened again? How in the world? You don't know? I never knew the specifics of it the first time. It was an anomaly back then, and even looking over the code, it still didn't make much sense. Okay, what is going on? I didn't do this. I just deleted him the way I delete anyone in my game. Everyone should have appeared here. That's the thing. I don't know. It's like there was some kind of interference that caused everyone to get separated. You in a literal sense, it seems. Well, that sounds like Andy to me. Already using my power against me. Except that's not true. You said yourself that you couldn't delete anything. I overheard you. And that wasn't true at all, Mag. Why did you lie? Yo! Are we calling him out? Come on, Monica. Team with us. Let's call him out. Let's discover the truth and let's see that Alice was right all along. You lied to me? No, not intentionally. Monica is technically correct. I can delete and undelete things, but only from here. This room. I'm so sorry. I didn't think it was all that relevant. Yeah, what is this room anyway? It looks more like Wyland than the game. Uh, not to interrupt, but I was wondering if there was something we could do to, you know, become one. Jack and I tried, but we really do a lot better when we're one person. Sorry, you're right. And that's the thing, I'm not sure. It seems to be some kind of emotional connection that brings you together, but I don't understand the specifics. Well, if you were dumb enough to get yourself into this, you're probably too dumb to figure out how to get out of it. Monica, I hardly think... What? We have to be extra friendly and sensitive to them because now they're stuck like that? Give me a break. They're stuck like that because there's something wrong with them. Alright, Monica. Jesus, calm it down, bitch. We really want to talk about people with things wrong with them? You kind of broke your entire game. Don't come at me. What the hell, Monica? Yeah, what's wrong with you? You of all people should understand what it's like to be unstable. Oh, did you not understand what I'm saying? Maybe I should put it in simpler terms. 
If you weren't so emotionally unstable, this wouldn't have happened, stupid. Is that dumbed down enough for you? You're... You can't... Ah, okay. I thought that was what she was trying to do. What just happened? My plan worked. Plan? Well, I thought uniting you in being mad at me might be enough to emotionally connect. Just a theory. Ah, oh, sorry about what I said. It was just to see if it worked. I didn't mean that. Ah, uh, <laughs> no problem. Thanks. So to get back to my question, what is this place? Yes, right. Well, I suppose it's sort of a waiting area. Waiting area? You know my game when I delete characters right out of the files? Well, I'm technically not supposed to be able to do that. So this is place is kind of limbo. Not quite deleted, not quite not deleted. So you can safely call them back when you need to. Exactly. It's sort of a waiting area. They can't go back on their own or anything, but someone like me or Mac would be able to call them back when it's time or if they were accidentally deleted. Think about it this way. Characters from games can visit each other all the time. But if the game is deleted during a visit, they need a, a place in the recycle bin to come to so their own games will function properly. I check this place daily to make sure no one is trapped here. Of course, if you call the game a character is from, they'll be automatically undeleted, but they can't leave on their own. It requires special permissions. And I assume you two are the only ones who have it. That would be correct. The issue is the deleted games. We can't enter them, and characters from those games can't leave. It's a safety feature that was established to make sure the right games and characters are deleted. Speaking of, where are Billy, Jenny, and Cliff? And how did I get deleted and turn up at a game well outside this room? And split in two? That's what we're worried about. I don't know where they are, but if that's what happened to you, I suppose the most logical conclusion is that's what happened to them. Minus the splitting part. So why not go in and get them? Maybe they're in some kind of danger. We can't. But you can. That's why I deleted you. I thought my friends might be in deleted games, but I can't access them. It's like Max said, it's a safety feature. So you need me to go in and get them? Of course. You're not mad, are you? I'm sorry I wasn't clear. I just thought you might not want to go if I told you everything. And that my friends are everything, and my friends are everything to me. Please, you have to help me get them back. I'm confident I've changed her voice. I'm sorry about that. I... Well, I guess I have to go in and get the rest of my team too. I can't let them be deleted. But, Monica, I would have gone to get your friends too, if you'd have asked. Oh. So you're not going to get them? That's not what I said. I don't like that you tricked me. But, actually, I think Auntie might have been sneakier than we thought. I found a mayhem machine on my way here. I disabled it, of course, but I think Auntie might have found some way around your safety features, Mac. It's possible he hid them in one place you couldn't look. I mean, it's actually really smart if you think about it. Yes, that makes sense. Of course, I don't know how, but maybe he found a way to find out what games would be deleted and when. Or just guessed. Or maybe he got lucky. Regardless, this just makes it more important that you stop him. I'll do my best, but where should I start? Well, there are four exits. Those are the ones to other games. And you came from the top left one. My guess is those other exits lead to other games. Maybe that's where they are. Your guess is right. Those are the other deleted games, but here they don't have to make sense. It could be multiple games mashed together behind any of those doors, or just one. Well, what's Wildland if it's not a massive crossover of every game I've ever played? It's a fan fiction writer's dream. It's almost as if it was made by fans. If there's a reason our friends haven't made their way out, it's probably not good, so please hurry and get them out. Okay, well, I guess I'll pick one of the exits and work my way through them all until I find everyone. I doubt they were in the place I came out of, so I'll leave that one alone. We'll be here, not that we can go anywhere else. Okay. Cool stuff. Fan art. Yo, this is cool. This is so cool. Miss Lily Delaney? I think is what that says. Again, apologies again if I'm getting it wrong, but these are super, that is, this is super cool. I love this one. Uh, let's just a wapoosh. Alrighty. Who are you? Oh, hey, didn't think I'd see you around. Good to finally meet you, Jack. It's great to meet you too. Um, don't sweat it. Not everyone's good with names. Dana, proprietor of the nice crazy bar called Va... Uh, 
El Hul A. Oh yeah! Sorry, it's been a while. My memory for people is a lot better than my memory of every single game I've played or done on my channel. Not that you're unimportant. Far from it. It's just... Nah, I get you. So do you usually attend bar here? It's usually Jill who's down here, but given she's handing a larger than usual crowd back at the bar, I don't know how I'd handle this. Speaking of, you want anything? On the house, seeing as you own the whole place. Right now? Not really, but I'll keep that in mind later if I get thirsty. Thanks. You got it. Okay. Fun. <coughs> okay, so this one up here I can't go to. Interestingly. Or is that the one I came from? I thought I came from here. I did. So that's a problem. Closed for maintenance until spring 2021. Oh, okay. Very interesting. Okay, so this is this is chapter two. And I know that parts one, two, and three of chapter two are out. Um, so that's obviously this is obviously the end of chapter two and part four. Uh, that's why I can't get through there. That's a clever way to do it, though. Hey, how are you holding up? Me? Oh, um, I guess I'm alright. Sure about that? Do you want to talk about it? It's just a bit nerve-wracking, you know. You going and getting your friends whilst I can't help you. Feels like I'm only able to get you so far before I become useless again. Come on, Mac, you're not useless. You're doing your best in a bad situation. And at least you got me to help you, right? You've been in a worse... You'd be in a worse spot if you didn't. I know that. I really appreciate it. You helping me, that is. I really know you, and you just wanted to help us all out as soon as you got here. Of course I do. Wyland is part of why I am today. I couldn't have done this without you guys. And you've been keeping things running so well, too. That's amazing. Um, pardon me if this comes off a bit rude, because that's not my intention. But why did you lock me out last time you were here? You know I could have fixed almost everything without risking your life. As Sean, I didn't know that. I saw a bunch of duplicates of myself and I thought it would might be confusing. I didn't really think about it, which is ironic because Sean's the side of me that generally considers these things. I totally understand. I have to duplicate myself sometimes, mostly to be in two places at once if needed, or even to take over another character's role in a game if they're indisposed. It's, it does feel empty, but satisfying once I'm reunited with myself. Oh, I didn't realize you knew what it felt like. Is that why the computer read is... Is that why the computer reads us so weird? Because that's like an admin ability? You must have gone through the process unintentionally, yes. It can happen if you're conflicted enough. But that's only a theory. And it does take a strong desire from both parties to reunite. I guess your conflict made that impossible. That and a lack of practice, I suppose. And how do I know there's not another Mac out there? Asking the right questions, I like it. That would be quite a plot twist, wouldn't it? I hate to disappoint you, but I know <laughs> I'm united with myself. I can only feel all of my emotions when I'm at one with myself. I can turn blue, for instance. That's neutral, and I'm obviously not neutral if I'm split. Okay, but good thing to know. I see. I wish I hadn't locked you out. You definitely would have fixed everything if you were there. I'm really sorry. We all overlook things sometimes. Still, the void out there, it was intense. The egos don't remember it, of course. As I recall, your subscribers don't remember it either. No, aside from Jenny and Cliff, none of the subscribers remember. The whole thing never got traced back to me. Good thing, too. I could have been accused of some kind of mind control. Robin said it was like he just passed out and then woke up for a few hours later. That's how it was for the egos. I myself only remember pieces of it. It wasn't pe pleasant, but I don't dwell on it. So this isn't why Auntie's up to whatever he's doing. I don't know for sure, but I doubt it. It's a power grab more than anything. But now I think about it, him being aware that you've been brought here before, I suppose he could have considered the fact that you could be brought here again. Yeah, I suppose. That knowledge would be pretty dangerous in the wrong hands. But Billy brought me back, not him. And I don't think Billy would be operating under his orders. Well, there's so many theories and there's so many possibilities, I just don't know anymore. Absolutely not. Billy must have felt like no one could help except you. I wish I'd thought of it, to be honest. Then Jenny and Cliff wouldn't have been brought along for the ride. 
Yeah, that's not ideal, but they're taking it pretty well. Speaking of, you take it easy, right? All right, you work too hard. I've taken out one of the mayhem machines. I can knock out the rest, no sweat. Take it easy. I'm not exactly used to that, but I'll do my best not to worry too much about you while you're gone. That's the spirit. I'll see you soon. I want to trust him. I want to be like, no, oh, Mac, you're being so nice and caring and considerate. But I just, I mean, my theory of it being Mac all along is dwindling and fast. The more we kind of talk to him and the more we get into it. Um, so maybe I'm, prob I'm probably wrong. I said this in the last, well, not last episode, but in, in the episode before that. I'm probably wrong about it, and it's not a problem if I am. I'm just I'm just a sucker for a good plot twist. Piano. Oh. Guess not then. So, how are you holding up? Okay, look, I'm really glad you're helping me. Even though as I was, I guess you could call it deceptive. Deceptive's a good description. But that's in your programming, isn't it? Don't worry about it. It wouldn't be DDLC without you freaking everyone out anyway. I appreciate that. Actually, I'm a bit disappointed the exits are closed. Hope those areas are available soon. I hope so too. Guess I'll just have to wait around until they open. It shouldn't take too long. Haha, it's fine because I got two exits. So it's only the top one. Let's go in here. Okay, this is exciting. Shit. Okay, it's just Wildland. Huh, kind of looks like the place I first explored when I was here. Man, I thought all these areas would be based on games I played. Imagine playing a game based on this. Imagine. Good thing that doesn't exist. Way too much fan service. Jenny! Alrighty, Dighty. Guess I gotta search for one of the missing people. Should be easy, sort of. Looks like I can't get back the way I came. Weird how it's just deposited me here. Oh my gosh! Jenny! That was easy. Hey, it's Jenny! Awesome. That might be my job done already. It's a relief, honestly. I've been wandering around here for a while. I lost track of time. Oof, no fun. But hey, I'm here now. That quality companionship, right? That's a decent way to visit. I think we're in some kind of back area. Looks a little like the places around Byton. Might be too much to hope we're close to it, though. Especially if this area was tossed. No kidding. It's not a dead end, is it? Not for you. Anything I've tried has denied me access. I was hoping you or Mac would come here because I guess I don't have the authority to progress here. Sounds like a job for me. Let's explore. All right, Jenny. That was... Oh my god, that is terrifying. Here goes nothing. Time to press all the buttons. That's... What happened there? No idea. And I'm not screwing with it again. I didn't get a chance to read his... Uh, that's scary. Hello? Uh, hey, inside kid. How's it going? I don't know who this is. Ah, right. Can't talk. Um, sorry about that. Can we go up? No, because there's a electric fence. Got it. And there's not a great deal to do here. I'm noticing there's a load of cameras. They made much more sense in Portal, but they're here as well. Static monitors. I think they were like that last time, but I can't help but feel like that's still not a good sign. Okay. Just have a little explorey door. Oh. Hello. Um, are you sure you want to talk to her? No, who is it? It'll probably be fine. You have WhatsApp. No, is your AI all over the place? Because it was listed in Portal, which is how I got rid of the Jack Core. Not important, I guess. But is there really a chicken? No, not in Portal. Um, point is, how are you here? You sure he is coming? Cause I don't want to kill a boy Tennessee for nothing. Okay, I'm not going to be an accessory to murder. I just need to figure out how you're here. You were in two places at once. Okay, so I won't tell you mine. Your secret as to how you were in two places at once? You wouldn't have to be because it connects two separate people. Oh, so it was like me being Jack and Sean. Yes. Figures. 
There is enough pain here with only one of you. Satan, I know you will return over me. I'm not Satan. If anyone's Satan, it's you. Are you a demon? No, but I might pledge my soul to Satan to shut you up. You want to be my mistress wife. Don't you dare wink at me! Okay, let's move on. We're done. Thanks for your help, Evie. People have to stop killing animals, plants, and even pets. They all have a right to live on this planet. Yes, thank you. Bye. Alright, let's wapoosh. So this is this is very, very similar to the beginning area in the boss. Hmm, what if I that works. But okay. Fine. Oh, scary stuff. Uh oh. Ah I have to press the space. I didn't realize that space made them jump together. Shit. Did that reset everything? No. Uh. Okay. That's still there. Nothing seems new. Oh wait, can I actually go through here now? Right. More things to press. Giant control thingies that do absolutely nothing. Pressing buttons have never been so futile. You're going to say the same thing. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So what was the point of being able to come here? Very confused. Ah, there's another door here. Sneaky. Boing. Well, now it's red. That can't be a good thing. Oh. Who are you and why are you in the shadows? Hello? Hello, Limbo Kid. Been a while, hasn't it? Uh, kind of weird to talk to you when you can't respond, but it's nice to see you again. Um, later. Okay, cool. What do these thingies do? Don't want to know what's kept in these. Yes. Am I going to remember and ask someone later? No. Okay, good talk. Da, 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 da. Can go through here. Boing. Oh. This all looks like analytic charts and stuff. I is confused. I am confusion. Just gonna keep standing on all the things. You know what I mean? Uh or not can I go I can't go back here though now giant wall of static yeah I'd tell put my body through that okay I guess we're going through here then ooh a shiny while and access key well I hope no one's gonna miss it you got the access key nice well I am just all kinds of confused as to where the hell I am now mashing buttons worked last time so let's see Nothing happened. Okay. I guess we have to go this way. Sweet! I can use the elevator now. Oh. Um, am I interrupting something? It's Yuri! Oh god, I can't remember my Yuri voice. <clears throat> Jack, you saved me. Looks kind of like I interrupted a seance. Not exactly. I was just playing solitaire. Well, I guess I was starting to pretend these were tarot cards and just to make things more interesting, but I've only ever read about them, so I didn't know enough about them to imagine much. Yeah, that's in another game. The what? Anyway, we're here to spring you out of here. That sounds preferable to solitary confinement, though I was starting to see things in the wall patterns. Yeah, and you probably would have starved. I found enough food to last me, but... The only book here was a peanut anthology. The comic strip? I love peanuts. They were rather entertaining, but not my usual reading material. I'm eager to get back to it. Let's not delay then. Super stuff. Ah. Hey, look at my team now. It's just growing. I'm so cool. 
Oh, I think I might know what to do here. I had a bit of crash course from Mac a long time ago. Well, that was quick. What did you do? We should be able to go back now. It's a bit of a patch, but it should hold up. And it may not be very stable, but I've restored a bit of the path that leads to the train station so we can leave. Wow, Yuri, that's impressive. It's nothing. Just something I happen to remember. Okay. Go through here. I don't remember how I got here. How did we get here? Oh. Well, that was helpful. I still can't go up this way. But I should now be able to go this way. Shite balls. No. Where, where am I going? Whatever went wrong with the keyboard seems a bit ominous to me. I don't think we should try anything here. Yes, please don't. Man, what makes you think I'm about to charge through the force field without any regard to my own safety? Four years of watching you on YouTube. You know what? I can't even argue with that. So that's not the way to go. Where's the train station? Oh wait, there's another thingy there. And there's one there. But I can't get to them. This is where we just walked across. <laughs> ah, this is new. Shit, this is fine. Okay. Okay. Who is that? Oh, thank God, a train. That's going to make moving around here easier. Um, yeah, about that. Who dis? Sorry. Julie? What? Julie who? Oh, nothing. Sorry, I just... You look a lot like my sister. But it's not. You're definitely not her. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, I got all brothers. Uh, hi. You're not a subscriber, right? What? No, why would you think that? Oh, good. No idea what a wraith that is. It's just, I didn't immediately recognize you, but now I... I definitely recognize you. For sure. I know every character. I never forget any. Jack, chill. I know you don't know who I am. I'm randomly generated. I literally, ex I literally exist to blend into a crowd. Yes, thank you. Last time I forgot someone, it turned out very badly for me. Yeah, we all know about the 207 debacle. Not gonna happen here, I'm Leslie. Grand Theft Auto spat me out and I've been here since. Man, everyone around here always has to ask if I'm Jack. Kinda nice to be recognized. I mean, you look like the egos, but you're not acting like a dumbass and you're not a, post, a posh British man, so you're not Mac. Only one other, only one other option. That's weird that you describe Mac with a posh British accent considering that's exactly what I gave him. Hey, those are precious OCs. Yeah, and one of your precious OCs has been giving out coupons for experimental open heart surgery. So I'm not backtracking on the dumbass comment. Okay, I can't really argue with that. You don't have to be so rude, though. Um, so about the train? Train? Yeah, it's busted. Busted! The engine's certifiably fucked up. Certified by me, that is, and I know my shit with machinery. You know your way around trains? I find that hard to believe. Well, obviously. Everyone's programmed with the ability to become an emergency mechanic. And this train is basically a car on rails. I would have thought... They have very different mechanics. Yeah, in the real world, sure. But in Wireland, the codes just seen is a big thing that needs to move fast. Cars, trains, all pretty much the same thing. Makes sense, and I assume if you fixed it by now, we wouldn't be having this conversation. Bingo. Like I said, the thing's certifiably fucked up. Oh, wait. Hold on. Duh, this is good. Yeah, because you're an admin, and we need admin permission to access Bosco's. If I replace a few of these parts, I could probably get it running. Perfect. Where's that? Just mess with the keypad up top near the barrier, and it'll open. You haven't messed with that keypad, have you? What? No, why would I do that? We tried, but I think it short-circuited or something. Huge zap. Shit, it didn't explode, right? No, I'm pretty sure we'd have noticed if it exploded. Jenny doesn't like her. Okay, that's like, sort of good news. 
means I can't. It can be used again, but you're surging it. It's probably got some screwy wires, and I'm not an electrician. Damn it. Okay, this is definitely going to be more complicated than I thought. How are we supposed to get past? Mac usually, but even he would probably surge it at this point. So we need like a week or you. Some of these powers are kind of similar, but to a way lesser extent. Yeah, let's just weaken Jack to get past the barrier. Great plan. You don't have to be a smart arse, Violet. I know we can't just weaken Jack. It's Jenny. How about an ego? Ooh! Are we gonna get another ego? Oh, I want another ego! Please, game! An ego? You know what? That would work, yeah. They'd be kind of similar, but not. So we just need to find one. I haven't seen one around. And unless there's one that was already in here, we're out of luck. Max says we can all come out, but I'm the only one who can go into these recycle bin areas. I have, but, um, some assembly might be required. The, who the hell needs assembling? Uh, what? Okay, look. One of the areas in here is Happy Wheels, and I think, at least, this is an educated guess, guess based on what I saw, that Robbie might have wandered into it. Robbie. Robbie. Robbie? Judging by what I know of Happy Wheels, which admittedly is very little, that sounds bad. The good news is that dead people ain't can't die multiple times. The bad news is they can't be scattered and buried by people who thought they were going to do them a f they were doing them a favor. People like you? Jenny is so not a fan. Hey, I want him to get lost, okay? Would you leave someone's body parts scattered all over Wireland? I can carry them around on my own. Okay, okay. You don't have to explain yourself. Just help us find him, I guess. You remember where you buried him, right? Of course I do. You usually remember burying body parts. Can you lead us to him? Yeah, no sweat. We'll just have to go back the way I came. I don't want to be a wet blanket, so to speak, but how will his disembodied parts help us? He needs some semblance of life, doesn't he? The battery on the train has enough juice. If we put it together, it'll jolt him awake. We're Frankensteining him? Is he like, oh, well, I guess he's a zombie. I don't remember Sean having a zombie, OC. Is this a fan? I know there are some, there are some egos that are fan created egos. Um, so not necessarily, like, I think for example, Sean plays a French artist in Passeport uh, which isn't necessarily by Sean, I think, deemed as a OC or an ego, but the fandom has made it so. So maybe this is a similar situation. Maybe he played a zombie in a game. And if he did, it's very likely I haven't seen that because that's not really my kind of games. Uh, so we'll see. Got a better idea. Uh, nope, not really. <laughs> I guess we're doing this. How macabre. I can't help but be a bit excited. All right, Yuri. Chill your beans, sweetheart. I'm not crazy about the idea, but we don't have another option. Cool beans. Let's go back the way I came. It's just forward from here. All right, a new team member. Let's bounce. Oh, let's wapoosh, though. Wapoosh. Cool. Oh, no. So, Sims. Okay. Actually, this looks exactly like it did before. Minus the weather. The good news is that the cow plants appear to have been fed recently. Because we all know how much you like cake. Hey, I mean, it's a... Comp I mean, completely valid point, but even I draw the line at cake being dangled out of a plant's tongue. Yeah, but now that I'm thinking about it, I wonder if one of them found a piece of Robbie. I didn't. Only way to know for sure is to offer them something else. I thought once they swallowed their food, there was no point trying to get anything back. Usually, but they can spit things up, like entire sims. So if we offer them something else, like maybe some meat, they might relinquish their last snack. Long shot, but maybe there's meat in the kitchen. It's worth looking into, at least. I changed the Yuri voice. I'm sorry about that. I can't, I can't quite remember it. I can't engage with anything, can I? There's a Sam phone. I kind of want to go ring that. It's a phone, but no dial tone. Haven't heard one of those in a while. 
right? Technology is moving at an alarming pace. Why not so long ago it would have been impossible to trap the consciousness of a person inside a computer, but here we are. Okay, hello plants. Let's see ya. Um. Okay, we have two flashing arrows. Let's go to the blue arrow first. What the? Ah, yeah, I should have warned you. This was Bitty's room, but last time I was here, it was sort of a transfer spot to other areas in Wildland. Actually, might still be here, but we need to feed the cow plants first. That must have been before you found me. No, it was after, but I was Sean then, so it was during, sort of. So, what's all the machinery? All kinds of things. We should check them out more closely. Okay. So we shall. A console, perfect. I use this as Sean to manipulate the... Oh, it's been disabled, never mind. Okay, can't do a great deal. What's this? Looks like a transmitter of some sort, but I can't turn it on, so just leave it. Oh, did this machine make brownies? Uh, maybe ten years ago. Yep, I smell it now. Looks like this machine is an entire extremely complex sewing machine. I think I'll stick to the one we have. You sew, Yuri? Not very often, believe it or not. It's Sayori who knows her way around a sewing machine. She's the one who gives our clothes. We give our clothes if they get ripped. Ah, oh, that's nice of her. You share chores? We do. Monica's pretty handy, so she fixes things and tidies up around the apartment. Sayori does the sewing and vacuuming. Natsuki prefers to cook and do the dishes, and I dust and clean the kitchen and bathroom. It's a good system. I wish I had a few roommates to take on some of the chores where I live, especially cleaning dog hairs off of things. Oh, holler to that. I love my dog, but she does shed quite a bit. That's why we're so split on getting a pet. Natsuki and Sayori really want a cat, but I think most of the cleanup will go to Monica and me. Where do you get pets in Wildland? There are a lot of animals in games. They usually roam freely, but if you start feeding them, they'll follow you home. That sounds about right. Pretty sure my dog would follow a stranger home if they gave her treats. I know this is probably going to be super unpopular, but I really don't like animals. That's okay. I mean, I disagree, but it's okay not to like them. Yep, I mean, more power to you if you're an animal lover, but not for me. I cannot figure out what this machine does. There's a skull and crossbone sticker on it, and I don't need to know. Someone took a huge chunk out of this machine. Hopefully we don't need it then. I think this is a fur the furnace. Yeah, ooh, let's crank up the temperature just to confuse them. Do you know how much heat costs? That's just cruel. You're no fun. Also, that was a joke. What's this way? Do 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 boo do boo de do. Okay, wait, it's an exit point, so let's not go there yet. I don't think it would let me, anyway. But um, this is the living room. The, it's the living room in there. But I, if I walk in and reminisce, we might be here all day. Clever. The kitchen door looks like. If we want to get meat, this is probably the best place to get some. Unfortunately, I can't get through. Any way to pick the lock? Um, not that I can see, unless one of you has a credit card. We could use our ID cards. This is a mistake. Oh yeah, and nothing. The door is made of tough stuff. I wonder if we could break it down. Do you have a hammer, Leslie? Darn, I must have left it in my other pants. I guess we could try find one or make one. Make a hammer? Well, there were a bunch of machines in Bitty's room. Maybe one of them can do it. Assuming we don't find one, what materials would we need? A blunt metal object and a handle, so that's what we need to look for. Okay. Can I go in here? It's eerily quiet and locked. Not sure I can go in. Steve and Betty's room, if I remember right, but it's not budging. There's a pool on the second floor. Seriously, why is there a pool on the second floor? You don't remember? Wait, there's an actual reason? Yeah, you really don't remember building a pool on the third floor and then realizing you destroyed your entire second floor as a result, except for one plate of food? You have a better memory in my videos than I do, apparently. Because, I mean, that does sound like something I do, but I don't remember anything. Everything. As an avid Sims player, I just remember wanting to yell at you whilst you were doing it because I knew you were wrecking the second floor. But you figured it out in your own time. I always figure it out eventually. 
Okay, random pool that I can't use. So I guess I gotta go back in here. Da, da, da. Oh, look, a sparkle now. Yes, this is it. What's this? Wait, what? This? It combines stuff. That means we can just put whatever we find into it, mess with the controls, and boom, we have ourselves a hammer. If only we had the materials we needed. Okay. I can go exploring now. Let's try over here. I'm not ready to leave yet. Well, screw you, Sean. Jack. Whoever you're supposed to be now. That's irritating. Well, where am I going to find shiz like this? Out the front, maybe? Um, no hammer in here. Why would your hammer be inside an oven? Kind of a long story. Great idea, Jack. Sit down, have a picnic, no time crunch, no ego waiting to be reassembled. I was just admiring the pretty umbrella. I'm allowed to like pretty things, right? Okay, suit yourself. Dum, da dum, da dum, da dum, da dum. Um, I am a tiny bit confused. I can't go in here though. I tried. Hmm. Can I go in the cupboards? Looks like a bunch of face masks in here. Wait, should I have been wearing one this whole time? No, why? No need to elaborate, but it is a bit of relief to tell you the truth. We hear you, we hear it. Ha ha ha, okay, we're having a couple. This cabinet's full of hand sanitizer. Oh, should I sanitize my hands? Yeah, don't touch those. They expired in 2012. So that's a no. Nope, sorry, we did this. Someone's been hoarding toilet paper. So, isn't that the kind of thing you should stock up on? You'd think, but... Well, it's kind of complicated. Never mind. That's kind of fun to have those nods. Uh, I'm very confused now, though. If I go out the front, I think there's a hole in the floor. And we're going to try and jump down it. Hello in there! I guess we're not going to try and jump down it. Wait, there's a code on the door. On the wall. There's a little hint up here. Speed is key. Man, I wonder what that means. Hmm. I've got a suggestion. Does someone have a cell phone on them? Maybe there's a way to get letters from numbers. I do, actually. No, I want the actual... I don't want the phone to unlock. Uh, S-P-E-E-D. Let's try seven. Three is four seven five maybe if I don't repeat if I don't repeat any of them so S P E E D I S so make that five because then you'd repeat the three, and then you'd get a nine. I don't know them. Is it as simple as the speed is the key to the co- Oh, God, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be so annoyed if that's what it is. I bet you it is. Because speed is the key. Seven, seven, I don't want to tell you how long I've been trying to work that out but we'll just leave it there this better be helpful if this is a complete if this is just an easter egg I'm going to be so mad ha I guess speed is key good suggestion Yuri doesn't even help me. It doesn't even help me. I don't really want to hear it. Um. <laughs> hey, I bet we could make the broom handle into a hammer handle. 
This would appear to be a bowl of fruit. You know, this banana is the right shape for a hammer. If only it was made of metal. What if we found some metal to coat it with? Where would we get metal? Coins? Hmm, we'd have to check somewhere for loose change. Probably the chairs. Let's check the chairs. Hey, look, some spare change. Well, we do need something metal to throw in there. Good find. <sighs> you waste so long on stupid things and then they turn out to be really bloody easy because you just didn't walk far enough to the right. Just feed the coins, handle a banana into it and let me do the rest here. Beep boop, 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 beep boop, 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 machining. Got it. You got a metal banana on a handle. Huzzah. Okay, let's go bash in a door. Progress. Ooh, this will be fun. Looks like you've got it. It's almost too easy. Maybe I should just throw myself at the door. Holy shit, what happened in here? Betty did, apparently. But I gave her the cooking skill. The good news is anything in the fridge will be cooked. There's probably meat in there. Oh, good. Yeah, we don't need to worry about the rest of it then, huh? Freshly cooked meat. Smells good. Please don't eat it. I won't. Besides, I don't know what kind of meat it is. All I know is it smells like chicken and looks like pork. It's probably neither. Anyway, let's get out of here. It's hard to breathe. You got the meat. Yeah, let's just bounce. Alright. Okay. To you, sir. This is giving me some serious little Shop of Horrors vibes. If it asks for my blood, I'll be sure to refuse. We don't need a cow plant taking over Wyland. I think it dropped something. Ah! There is a piece of Robbie. I was right, it got to him first. Okay, well the cemetery's through the back door, so let's go through the house. Let's find out if the other plant has another piece of Robbie. You got Robbie's right arm. Wonderful. Okay, you want some yummy meat from an unknown origin? I think it dropped something. Looks like it's a remote. I wonder what it goes to. We should take it anyway. You got the remote. Lovely. Oh shit. Looks like the fire got out of the kitchen. She said there was escape through Bitty's room, right? Let's go there. Yep, straight on lads and lasses. Let's roll. Da 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 da. No fire in here, baby. Now you'll leave. I'm not, oh no. Didn't think I'd end up here again. I came through the cemetery where I buried the parts, but I knew I'd forget which way I came, so I made a little something to help me find it again. A compass? Yeah, you know, points you in the right direction. I mean, I patched the hole in the wall, so I wouldn't be followed. So we just have to follow this and we'll find the way you came? Yep. Well, let's not waste any time then. How will we know if we found it? The compass will be pointing exactly north while we're facing a wall. When it happens, that's the correct one. Well, the wall that faces up, that'll be the right one, not the one that faces down. I remember that much. Right. Okay. Cool. Don't like any of this. Let's just back it up a little bit. Give us a whoopoosh. Love it. 42, 41, 40, 39, 38, 37, 36. Uh... The bus is nothing! Let's head to that. See it? It from the old game. That's unsettling. That's still here after all this time? Yeah, it's... I guess these things pop up. They don't just erase themselves. Even if I've grown past that now. Aw, that's sad. Oh god. Are we going? We're not going the right way. That's called a dead end. What is this music? It's unsettling me. God damn it. Are there things that could get me here? You know, like bad things? I've totally gone the wrong way. Just back it up a bit. Not come this way. Shit. Now I'm super lost. Okay. Ah. Aha. Oh god. Um, no, I guess I had gone the right way. Mm. We've been down these, haven't we?
Here we go. This is new. Walking into the unknown. It's very unsettling to just be walking. I'm not really looking at the thingy anymore. Let me jump. Oh, oh, oh. Gotta go down here. Oh, okay, I was just gonna say the same thing. It's not leading me in the right direction. Oh. Shiny thing down there. Oh, it's another one of the things. Okay, good. This is positive. I'm stuck. Why is that always the case? Why is it always when I'm like, okay, we're doing well, this is great. And then it's like, oh, no, well, never mind. I think these things are helpful indicators of where I should be going. I remember these. I think I left them all over Sean, unintentionally. Oh, is that what happened? I did wonder, but I didn't want to ask. I'm just going to keep heading towards the glowy things because I feel like that is the correct thing to do. You know what I mean? It feels like they're here for a reason. And although I'm not going to keep engaging with them because I do think they're just going to say the same thing. Um, I do think they're a good... Oh, shit. Ooh. Oh. This way? Sweet, we found it. Sorry, I totally changed that voice. How do we get through? This wall is made of paper mache. I made it look like rock, see? Easy to tear down. Let's just get the rest of the um body. Oh, good God, what is happening? I don't recognize this area, like, at all. The others I'm sure I went through, but this is foreign. Really? Pretty sure this is Fran Bao. Looks like another maze. Hopefully it's easier than the last one. Graveyard's above this area, but while we're at it, we might want to get to look into getting a shovel. I had a feeling we would should avoid anything down here. Fran ha Bao has some scary creatures. Yeah, this place is kind of messed up. Don't touch anything you see and you should be fine. Wapush me! Okay, shit. Oh, we're stacked again. Wait, are they going to change course or... Shy balls. Run, 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 run. Ah, ah. We're about to find out if they're going to change course. They are not. That is good to know. Woohoo. Woohoo. Oh, a shovel. That went well. Well, now's a good time to learn the art of grave robbing, I guess. You got the shovel. Shite balls. Wait for it. Now. Always watching. Oh my god, I put that on a thumbnail. I think it was for episode two, but I really dimmed it down so you couldn't see it very well. Oh no, wait, it wasn't even this game. It was uh, Little Nightmares. Well, I've come the very wrong way, and I don't know how to rectify this situation. Because I can't... <gasps> We don't know. We don't know. We don't. We don't want to know. We don't. We don't know. Where have I got to go? Was that a different way I could have gone? I could go down where these guys are, couldn't I? I'll just follow him. See where he goes. Oh god, I'm screwed, I'm screwed, I'm screwed, I'm screwed. Ha ha, I did it! I'm not screwed, I'm amazing! Wah wah. Guide, bro. Here? This looks good. Oh! Thank god for that. Ooh, I like the music. Looks like we're ready to dig up some graves. Which one did you bury them in? What's that little note there? I don't remember seeing that last time I was here. Oh good. This? Um... Hello to the finder of this. I'm thankful that you didn't miss. For the parts in the ground have been scattered around and your death may you may very well kiss. But do not be fearful, my friends. The rules are quite simple, it tends. If you know the true name, you can win this small game and you surely avoid all your ends. What the hell? Who would rearrange everything? That, that'll take forever to just to do just to fuck with us. I guess we have to follow the clue here. Let's see. Something about the pieces being buried under five graves. 
and looking for differences between those five and others. I'm not good at this brainy kind of shit. That's Yuri's thing. Me? Oh, all right. I, I think Jack was correct in his assertion. So we can find a commonality between five graves. Those should be the ones with the pieces. That sounds simple enough. It's kind of hard to read in here. I'll take a picture of this note with my phone so I can read it again. Click. Okay. Duh, ba, duh, 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 duh. Wapoosh. Well, four of these things match. Two of them are different. Uh, yeah. Can I maybe have a look at the note? Oh, shit. That was the wrong button. I meant that one. Da, 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 da. Uh, or do I have to do this? Ah. I didn't know the eggs actually had something. Okay, well, that doesn't help me either. Medical records, coins, remote, wood handle. Uh, Wildland IDs, so I guess I can't reread that note. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. This one matches this one. This one matches this one, sort of, but it's got leaves around it. What am I supposed to do here? Looks like some kind of warrior chick. Nice cape. So, you're going to say the same thing again? Nice statue. You don't usually get to see these in cem ce cemeteries. I didn't read Yuri, sorry. In cemeteries? Yes, I mean, they're quite, you know, I think they're kind of pretty. Cemeteries, I mean. I kind of get that. No judgment here. Can I just go through the door? We know what we need yet. Uh, can I go over the this? No. Oh, God, I don't know what it wants me to do. I can't even read the damn note. Man, where's Blathers when you need him? Yeah, he'd go nuts if he saw this. Can I keep the skull? It's super cool. I'd rather you didn't carry it back with us. Meh, fair enough. Damn, no haunted messages. Good to know. Do you have the picture of the poem? Sure do. Let's see. Oh, okay. Sure do again. Hello to the finder of this. I'm thankful that you didn't miss, for the parts in the ground have been scattered around, and your death you may worry will kiss. But do not be fearful, my friends. The rules are quite simple. It tends. If you know the true name, you can win this small game. And you'll surely avoid all your ends. I'm just going to start clicking on them and see what happens. As a grumpy fellow guest, Sean found an odd macabre request. While sprawled upon the floor, he lie, his organs serving for a die. Whoa, how do you keep getting invited to these parties? I want to go. I'm just going to go ahead and let that slide. Is this something we should dig up? No, not yet. Don't do that. The rumours, they were sadly true. Our dearest Sean is cold and blue. Shot dead at home, yet at the time was in LA and Anaheim. I have a lot of questions. I think we all do, but first one on my mind is, do we dig this up or not? No... So early on in his career, did Sean find his last moments near? 6,000K subscribers, subscribers trusted, heart gave out, he pelvic thrusted. What exactly is going on here? Some damn good partying, apparently. You gotta celebrate your subscribers, man. They're the lifeblood of your channel. Hell yes, they are. That being said, should we dig up this grave? No. Nah, I think we get the idea. Here lies Sean's quite empty plot. He still drew his breath, not left to rot. The pepper prank was just for play. He ate the thing another day. But he sure felt like dying then, let me tell you. What's with this sassy lost tombstone? It's true though, right? You bet your ass it is. But since we need to dig somewhere, should we dig up this apparently empty grave? No. Hey, it says empty. I don't dig. Grave room is only fun if there's something to rob. If ever you should shoot soon imbibe some alcohol and want to drive, remember poor Sean who lies here. He crashed his car post-drinking beer. 
I mean, yeah, important lesson to not drink and drive, but I don't even drive or own a car. And I've never drunk and driven, and I'd never drink and drive even, either, even if I did. This situation is completely unrealistic, but isn't that what killed you in 2019 when you tweeted to confirm the rumours? Of course, has that everyone had died. Anyway, should we disturb my obviously dead self here? Let this be a lesson to you all. Don't drink and drive, even if you don't have a car or a driver's license. When Sean was lying on a table, Dr. Schneep, he wasn't able, dropped his scalpel with a clatter, and the wavy line sunk flatter. Shame the doctor couldn't save him. It's awfully disconcerting that you're doing these anti-impressions while he's running loose in your computer. Can't help it. It's fun to get into the role. But you're right. He's having way too much fun himself. And not in a good way. Question is, should we attempt to dig up Robbie's remains here? No. Let's let Schneep do the autopsy on this one. I'm going to read them all. And then I'm going to save again. Because I feel like I'm, I should know something about Robbie the zombie. Um, to be able to work this out. And I feel like if I knew that, this would probably be fairly easy. Uh, but I don't, unfortunately. I don't know who that is. So I might have to save and then try a couple of times to find the right one. Here lies Sean, who deftly saved a little girl from her own grave. The driver, careless, brains to mush, dumped poor Sean's body in a bush. Ah yes, I will remember the time I was hit by a car while violently saving, valiantly saving a child. Not something you usually forget. Um, are you okay? Completely fine, Yuri. I'll let you know when my death room is true. As for here, is this a good place to dig? No. Let's leave our heroic Sean's mangled body here. One fated day on Halloween, dear Sean was feeling kind of green. A nosebleed, footsteps were of note. It ended when he slit his throat. Okay, so that is definitely in reference to the Halloween video, the first proper intro we had to Ante. And we've been having a cup, so a couple of them are references to, like... <laughs> Rumours that he's died and things like this that have come out. Um, so I'm assuming it's linking to a game that obviously Robbie was in or Sean played him in, which I don't know the answer to. I also keep forgetting I'm actually wearing makeup for once. Um, okay. Say goodbye. <laughs> it's awfully disconcerting that you're doing these antipressions. Can't help it. It's fun to get the role. But you're right, he's having way too much fun himself, and not in a good way. Question is, should we attempt to take up Robbie's remains here? No. Let's not disturb the neatly decapitated dead. Okay, I'm going to try this one. Yeah, shot dead at home. Yes, at the time. It was in LA and Anaheim. Oh, I don't know. I'm going to try it. Oh, wait, I was going <laughs> to save it first, wasn't I? Hang on, let me just wapoosh. What's this one? Uh, no, I don't remember that. I'm going to try this one. Probably going to be wrong. Uh, well, takes one to know, so on. Oh, I don't feel so... Okay! I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I won't. Jesus. Not that one. Do, do, do. Here lies Sean, quite an empty plot. He still draws breath, not left to rot. Pepper Prank was just for play. He ate the thing another day. Don't, I just don't know. The thing is, I can... I can kind of round off some. Uh, as grumpy fellow guest, as a grumpy fellow guest, Sean found an odd macabre request. While sprawled upon the floor, he lie, his organs serving for a diet. So maybe this is something he did with the Game Grumps. We're gonna try it. We're gonna try this one. Uh. Yes. Okay. Awesome. You got a left leg. Wait. What? No. Oh no, it's more than one? Wait, didn't it say five? <laughs> I 
I don't know anymore. Well, I don't know what that was all about. Oh, shit. Well, I know it's not that one. One down. What's this one? <sighs> Something about subs on that one. No. Okay, let's try this one because I know this one's also um about ego. Okay, you got a head. Maybe they're all the ones about the egos. Let's try that theory. Who deftly saved the little girl, blah blah. So not this one. Um there was another anti one. Sean was lying on a table, Dr. Schneep was unable, yada 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 yada. So yes, we're gonna dig up this one as well. Yes. Boom! So I've got two arms, a leg. I should just have one more then. And I know it's not that one. I just know it's not this one. Okay, let's have a read of this one. Remember Paul Sean who lies here crushed a car post drinking beer. So this is another one of those rumors with how he died but didn't die. Here lies Sean quite an empty plot. Joy love has a pepper pack. Just play. Oh, I read this one a minute ago. What was the other one? Oh shit! Well, that went incredibly well. Is that not everything? In which case... Read this one? Sean... Sod it, we'll open this one up. I guess the common thread then is these were all things to do with the channel itself, whereas the other three were... not. But there we go, I did it. I, I am awesome. That's everything. I think we can go through the door up there. Sorry, I don't need the mouse. <coughs> My bad. All right, let's roll. Do, 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 do. Huh? I wasn't expect. I was expecting it to be creepier. There's always taking pills to make things a lot creepier if you're into that kind of thing. Okay, is this friend Bow then, I guess. Last time I checked, I wasn't a drug addict. But if we need to explore this place more closely, we won't have much choice. Fran Bow is just one of those games. Shame Billy's not here. Come on, let's not make fun of him. There's no point unless he's here to gripe about it. True that. There must be a way out of here somehow, somewhere. And I have a feeling we may have to bend reality to find it. If it comes to that, we'll take the pills. Okay. Sounds good. Fire. I love fireplaces. They smell really nice. Me too. It's fun to roast marshmallows with them. Too much work. Better to nuke them in a microwave. Tastes different when you roast them over a fire. Yeah, but you can't blow them up over the fire. That's a fair point if you want a messy microwave. Ether bottles. My grandfather once told me that ether makes you really nauseous. Let's keep our distance then. We're already dealing with dead flesh here. I'm surprised no one's been sick yet. Yeah, let's do our best to avoid it. Ooh, money! They're bells. I still got a homeland to pay off. I wish I could take these. Best not. Fran isn't the kind of person you want to piss off. Not least because it'll get Billy pissed off at you. I'd rather take Fran's rage than Billy's. Do, 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 do. It's an assortment of religious books. And the Percy Jackson And the Percy Jackson series. I'm not sure those belong here. I can already feel the comments section going nuts. Hey, stop typing! Yeah, let's move on. Who put face powder in salt and pepper shakers? Fran, apparently. It's not face powder you get from a store, or it smells like baby powder mixed with instant coffee. Oh, I saw this on YouTube. That's how they make makeup in jail. Does it work? Not well, but it's pretty creative. Why would Fran have Jacob mail? Curiosity, maybe? That would be pretty bad for your skin, especially if she uses the deodorant method for the blush and eyeshadow. I'd ask you why you know these things, but I think we've all had a few recommended video rabbit holes. I'm allowed to like things other than video games. 
Yes, you are. Do, 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 do. It's a giant crate. Good thing there's nothing alive in it. There might be some if we take those pills up there. Please stop. Looks like a spice cabinet. Salt, pepper, cumin, oregano. The heck is Obey? I love Obey. I can't believe there's some here. It smells spicy. It's really good on chips. College textbooks. Man, these must have been expensive. Not if you steal them. I can't tell you off for that. These things are a ripoff. Comic books. A lot of comic books. And not a Jackaboy man in sight. That's because he's not a hero. Hey! Don't tell him that. He's a fragile... He's got a fragile ego. Yeah, and his idea of saving someone's life is getting the shit kicked out of him and claiming he won the fight. I don't even think he won. That's all I ask. Ooh, comic strip books. I love these. Calvin and Hobbes, Foxtrot, Dilbert, Peanuts, Garfield. Man, I'm going to have to take some of these to read if we ever get stuck somewhere. You're carrying Robbie. Jenny, you grab some of these. Would that be stealing? It's my computer. Technically, they're all mine. I'll take a few volumes. You're right that these would pass the time. Growing up headache. These look interesting. Is that a book about fish or something? It's an absurdly long series about the misadventures of a family. People really read that shit? It looks like something Cliff would read. I should tell him about it. He likes that stuff? I mean, each to their own, but you'd think his family would stop instigating so much drama. Sometimes you like what you like. No explanation needed. The complete works of Dr. Seuss. That's not what I expected. Well, in a room as grand as this, would that work be rejected? You think I would find them a bit juvenile, but all these books can still make me smile. Your taste is what is unique to just you, so don't be ashamed to read what you do. Yeah, yeah, I get it. The moon spoons, mainly in the June. Can we go now? If you can't appreciate these books, the answer is no. They're kind of lost on me. Don't rhyme this. We're done. Okay, I promise. This is the last one. This is like a cabinet full of wine. Hell yes. Anything good? I don't know much about wine. I don't really like the taste. That's fair. Oh, I wish I could take some home. This is very nice. Um, isn't the drinking age 20 in Japan? How old are you? 18, but we're in Brighton. Mac allows it. Don't get drunk and wander around the city, though. He'll throw you in jail to sleep it off. Got personal experience? Hell yeah, I do. Want to elaborate on that? Hell no, I don't. Okay. We must take the pills. So, do we take the pills? Yeah. Yay. Holy shit, this place is awesome. These look just like the hidden basements in Portrait of Macau, in fact. Um, not to be rude, but I don't want any more detail on that book. Oh, uh, yeah, sorry. That was a bit inappropriate. You're good. Let's see if the exit's here. I can see the exit now, but I'm curious to explore. Handbreads on the outside of the crate are somehow creepier than inside. Why did they want to get in? Were they trying to escape from something? I really don't want to think about it. Do, 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 do. Books of medieval torture. Hard pass. If you want to torture someone, I can give you tons of ego hints and make them wait years for payoff. That is crueler than thumb screws. I'll give you that. Ooh, creepy eyes. I was sticking my hand in here, not with things peering at me in the dark. Spellbooks. I don't think we'll need any. Ah, but what if we run into Marvin? Don't give him these. Trust me. I already had them. Or would be dangerous if he did? I don't know. Probably both. Pardon me, but I don't really want to investigate those bottles. They do seem a little suspicious. I think there might be something growing in a few of them. Alright, we'll leave them alone. I was trying to get the blood splatter, to be fair, but I can't engage. Sad. Whatever this... Whatever's in this shelf seems to have eaten something. Yeah, how about we step away from the creepy shelves? All these books are blank. Diaries, maybe? If you're into that kind of thing, don't know what you write stuff, why you'd write stuff down. Anyone could find it. Ow. Once, I once put lemon juice into a calligraphy pen and wrote with it. My parents thought it was weird that my diary got more worn, but I never wrote in it. 
Your parents read your diary? That's an intrusion of privacy. I don't know if they did, but I wanted to make sure they never would. Ew, are there bugs in these jars? And a bunch of them are still alive. Is that a tarantula? Tarantulas are actually quite docile. I'd be more concerned about the Black Widow. I still wouldn't want to hold one. Okay. Okay. Creepy shit. Here, mousy mousy. Are you nuts? There's blood coming out of there. Has anyone considered that maybe the thing that drew the blood isn't the thing in the hole? Let's not find out. This is kind of like a mad father death, isn't it? RPG horror is overrated. It is not! How dare you! Why do you care so much? I don't, actually. Why did I say that? Um, that's paint. Is someone painting paintball in here? Chase? Wouldn't put it past him to play paintball, but blood color paint? That doesn't... That does seem kind of out of character for him. Yeah, true. I guess we'll never know. It looks like Japanese. It says Septicai. Makes sense. Fire. A literal goblet of fire. That's what I thought it looked like in the movie. Ugh, don't even get me started on that suck fest. Not a Potter fan? No, but the movie in... But that movie in particular sucks. I can't help but agree on that point. Okay, I guess there's something to do here. Let's go through the hole. It's a hole in the wall. That it is, Jack. Wait a sec. I wonder if the pills changed up where this comes out. Hey! Whoa, right next to the train. That's convenient. It'd be bad game design to make everyone go back the way they came. Cool. Let's raise Robbie from the... From the undeath again. It's just Wapoosh. Thanks. Okay, this is pretty sketchy. No kidding, but I had to repair it as well as I could. Can't go this way? Nope, okay. Let's roll. Okay, just toss the body in. Wait, what? Yeah, it'll reconnect on its own. It just needs to be jolted. Oh, this is so gross. Perfecto. Let's just try and stop the train and all the open wires down there will zap him. God. Okay. Leslie, just tell me what to do. Hit the big blue button. Okay. Is that supposed to happen? Yeah, just be patient. Hello? Hey, it's Robbie! Robbie alive again? Yay! <laughs> He's so cute! What's he from? How are you doing, Robbie? Getting chopped up couldn't have been much fun. Um, Robbie go to Happy Wheels and then... And then Robbie not remember what happened. Oh, but Robbie remember coming here after. Oof, at least it was quick. Sounds like a slight case of death-induced blackout. Man, I've been there. Robbie not know you. Is you strangers? People is tell Robbie not to talk to strangers. No, we're not strangers. Well, strange maybe, but not strangers. I think you're confusing him. Hey, my name's Jack. I'm the owner of the computer, so I can't be a stranger. I'm kind of like your boss. The boss, actually. Speaking of, sorry for locking you out last time I was here. You is real, Jack? Robbie, not meet boss like real Jack before. Yep, I'm the real Jack. And I'm Jenny. Jenny. Jenny have pretty hair. Shiny. I'm Yuri, from Doki Doki Literature Club. I've seen you around, but I don't think we've ever been properly introduced. Is you Robbie's sister? Because you has Robbie's hair. Sorry, no. But we'll get you reunited with Max soon. Oh, Mac. Robbie loved Mac. Mac nice to Robbie. Well, too far be it for me to refuse pleasantries. I'm Leslie. I don't think you're allowed in my game. Oh, you is from Honey Poop Pop? Honey Pop? No, but do not go in that game either. Yeah, Max looked that one up pretty tight. Good man. Anyway, Robbie, it's been so cool to meet you, but we actually need your help for something. You is need Robbie's help. 
I is definitely need Robbie's help. Can you push a button for me? Buttons! Robbie loves pushing buttons. If you don't mind, I'm going to hang around here and check the damage. See if we need anything else. Is there some way I can contact you? I've got a cell phone, but it looks like there's no signal. Damn it. No problem. I guess I'll just dictate what I need and you'll have to remember. What exactly do you need? Well, the battery's probably fried, so we need a new battery. There are a bunch of firewalls around here, so we could do some hyperspension keys. And I think a soldering tool would be really useful. Is that doable? Yep, we'll get you everything you need. Come on, Robbie. Let's push some buttons. All right. He's with us. He's so cute. I've never, ever experienced this. I can't leave. I can leave. I've never experienced this character such ego before. Can someone let me know what he's from? Because I have no idea. I, uh, well, I mean, I've made him pretty cute. <laughs> he might not be. Who knows? Bum bum cat to bum to bum cat to dibba dibba de cat to bum to bum cat. Bum bum cat to bum 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 cat to bum 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 cat. Okay, Robbie, just press the big buttons right here. Okay. All right, Robbie, thank you. We is go shopping now. Yep, we is go shopping now. Let's go, team. Hell yeah. Let's wapoosh this bad boy. Wapoosh! No free money. I wonder what I thought there would be. Optimism? Sure, let's say that. Okay. Uh, hello? A oh, fuck it. Huh? Bucket. Sorry, meant to say that the other way around, but my brain got ahead of itself. I guess I really could have used this last time I was here. I see they're carrying Coca-Cola Zero. Same great Coke taste with no extra, none of the extra calories. <laughs> I sodded that up. Looks like some candy. Candy? Hey, let's get on the train first, okay? Okay. Looks like some candy. We did this. I can't buy anything here. Why is small brick wool? Well, I know there was something here a while ago, but, well, we don't need the power regulators anyway. Okay. Robbie has slushies. I think the slushy is Bitens are fresher. Do you want a really good slushy later or an icky one now? Robbie is waiting for good slushy? Um, okay, Robbie, wait. Huh, the batteries are behind the bleach bottles. Good, let's grab them. You got the batteries. Okay, this is how we do. I really do doubt they store batteries with the fish. No one would look there if so if you wanted to hide them. Why would you want to hide merchandise from paying customers? It's called Bosco's Inconvenience Store for a reason. I bet there's something else we need. Okay, we did this. I guess that's what we needed then. Batteries? I feel like we needed other things. Sod it. Let's go find out. Let's go find out. Oh, shit. Let's go find out. Let's... Let's go find out. Let's go find out. Let's go find out. Hey, let's go find out. Let, let's go find out, out, out. Hello. Come back with some hyperspension keys and a battery. Ah, oh, hyperstension key. Unless you're going to have to go through everything. Ah, there we go. Perfect. Those are the hyperstension keys. Nice that they're out in the open. Almost like our whole quest was kind of pointless. Oh, it wasn't pointless. But now they're widely available so everyone can get them whenever they have a need. Hydro. 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 Hydrospersion. Yeah, it disperses the hydro. Let's pick some up. Five, baby. Right, I got the batteries. I got the keys. Let's shimmy on out of here. In comparison to the boss game, there is more of like... The mini games, the actual game functionality, or maybe there isn't. Maybe I'm talking shit. It just feels like there is. Um, more like playable elements, which is great. I mean, it just shows. It just shows the evolution of the devs. Really, it's not a bad thing. It's absolutely brilliant. And I'm not. I'm saying that because I like. I don't want people to think, oh, you're shitting on the last game. I'm absolutely not. Uh, that was at this point. That was like five, six years ago. That was made. So. 
of course you expect people to grow and improve and get better at the things they're doing. So absolutely major kudos to them. Looks like you've got everything. Thanks. I think I can start this up. Choo choo! Hey, so Leslie said it would be a bit before we get there. Where is Bear? Hell if I know. They seem to be pretty confident that they found an exit from this area though. Good. That's good. Then we can get to sa back to saving Wyland. I wouldn't say we're not saving Wyland now. I mean, yeah, it's been kind of weird turn of events, but we're still on track to destroying the Mahaham machines. You're right. Sorry. I guess that sounded really pessimistic. I get it. This has definitely been a bizarre detour. Can I move? I can't. So, how are you holding up? I've been worse. I don't doubt it. And listen, I'm sorry Billy yanked you out of your life. I hope you weren't sleeping or something. It's pretty late in Australia. It is, but I don't live in Australia anymore. You don't? Sorry, I... Your accent. Well, not that I was assuming. It's fine. I mean, it's not like I sent you an update in the last two years. Except that one meeting. Yeah, quite a trip to Boston, wasn't it? How come you came all the way out? Not long after everything wildened, I ran across Cliff on Tumblr and he thought it was real too, but I think we both really got, got really curious as to whether you remembered it. You didn't mention it in a video or anything. I thought it'd be kind of weird to suddenly start referring to the computer as Wyland. I actually did a few times. Robin was confused. If we weren't sure then, we're sure now. Yep. Uh, so where do you live? Cliffs, actually. Not as roommates and not in the way it probably sounds. His family have a basement apartment set up and I wanted to study game development. It's a bit of a drive to Mary up to Maryland, but we make it work. That's cool. I bet you're learning a lot. Yeah, it is. It's a lot. I like it, though. Yeah, good. Cute. Are you alright? Huh? Well, why do you ask? You've been really... I mean, you acted kind of... Not that I know you that well, but you sounded like you're, um... You didn't like Leslie all that much. Oh, no, I got that hint. Oh, um, I guess not. Can I ask why? I haven't done anything to you. They haven't. Is it about what they said when you first we first saw them? They look like your sister? A lot like her. It's uncanny, actually. Is that a bad thing? Kind of. It's not really their fault, is it? That they look like Julie, was it? Yeah, well, you can't pick who you're related to. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? I feel that. Just sounded like you didn't really... You know what? I'm sorry. That's none of my business. I'm not. Not what? A... A very nice person. Not really. It's just... I wish I could love my family, but I don't. So I guess that makes me a horrible person. Nah, family's all kinds of fucked up. God knows you didn't... Sorry. God knows I didn't have a perfect family either. Oh, I just... Well, I thought maybe you were judging me for how rude I was to Leslie, and I guess I... Never mind. Yeah. So I'm going for a walk around, see how everyone's doing. Do you want to come with? Yeah, okay. Okay, but if it makes you feel better, I'm not judging you. Family isn't always what it should be. Thanks. That does make me feel a bit better. Deep conversations going on. Oh, this is cute. He's so cute. Hello, Robbie. How are you holding up? Holding up? Robbie is not holding up. No, I mean, how are you going? Is life treating you okay? Uh, I guess it's underneath treating you okay. Undeath treating you okay, sorry. Robbie happy. Robbie is make friends with Yuri. We're having a nice chat. In fact, I was asking Robbie why he smells so nice since we just dug him up. Robbie is always put on flower smell when Robbie go outside. Robbie likes smell like flower. Oh, I smell it now. Wow, you kind of smell like li li lilac. Yeah. <laughs> Brain died. Wow, you kind of smell like lilacs. How do you do that? Didn't we just dig you up? Um, speaking of which, Jack, I didn't want to tell you, but I appreciate your, your gentlemanliness in carrying Robbie's body back, but you still smell like him. Like flowers? I was going to say, if it's flowers, it's, that's not a bad thing. More like decaying corpse. How long have I smelled like that? Why didn't anyone say anything? 
you were so nice to carry him back, and I didn't want to embarrass you, but, uh, yeah. I didn't see you two or Leslie volunteer to carry him back. We really do appreciate your gallantry, but you might need another shower. Great. If my blood pressure isn't higher, I'll get abducted next. Jack is stinky. Very much so. Um, Robbie is has idea. Flowers? <gasps> Robbie's too cute. Mm. Now Jack is smell like Robbie. Oh, Robbie, that's very sweet. Ow, did you just bite me? Oh shit. Jack is taste funny. Oh shit. Uh, I'm not gonna turn into a zombie, right guys? I don't think Robbie works like that. Well, that's good, but don't bite me next time, okay? Okay, Robbie is no bite. I was just saying how cute you were, and now you're biting people, man. Come on. Right, well, thanks, Robbie. I think I'll go and check on Leslie now. Um, is you Robbie friend? Huh? Robbie is wants to make you new friends. Is you Robbie's friend? Of course we're friends, Robbie. You must forgive Robbie for bite. You'll forgive him, buddy. You didn't even break my skin. I feel better already. Yay! <laughs> He's so adorable. <laughs> I love this. And you can make that two new friends, Robbie. I'd love to be your friend. <gasps> Robbie has three new friends. Wow! We're going to talk to Leslie now, okay? Okay, bye-bye, new friends. So cute. I want to smash his little face. Hey, hey. Um, hey, Leslie. I just wanted to apologize for earlier. I'm sorry I was so snippy. Oh, okay. Thanks. You forgive me? Just like that? I've been treated way worse. Like, a little sniping is nothing when you've been run over by a few cars and cussed out by a drunk-ass bouncer trying to get into a club so you can have a break from vehicular manslaughter. I guess when you put it that way, still, it wasn't very nice to you. You'll be nicer now. And even if you're not, you're still not running me over with a car. So no sweat. We're cool. I mean, not everyone can be as annoying and nice as Mac. Annoyingly nice as Mac. Am I right? Hey, we have a friend, this friend named Billy. Can you, like, talk to him about perspective? Billy? Yeah, good luck with that. Oh, shite. The fuck? Shit, it busted again. What does that mean? Are we stranded somewhere? No, we're a lot closer. We just have to go on foot. Our balls. Well, good news is at least we didn't break down in that big dark tunnel over there. D dark tunnel? Robbie is not like dark. Yeah, we should stick to the welded areas, I think, if we can. Guys, I'm sorry. I'm not sure I can fix it this time. It was pretty busted to begin with. It's honestly miraculous we got this far. Don't beat yourself up. It wasn't your fault. But we should keep going. Yeah, we should... Wait a second. Oh, for the love of... I've been here or before. What? Yeah, it was a while ago, but damn, I didn't even notice the train tracks. Ugh. You might want to stay away from the edges there. We're way above Aperture. Hell no, I'm not going anywhere near that death trap. Aperture? It's a place where they make science. For the good of all of us. Except the ones who are dead. Is Robbie dead? Good question. I don't know, buddy. It's probably best we move on. I hope we can circle back, but the tunnel looks like it would be too tight to fit us comfortably. Robbie is not one to go in Dark Tunnel. I agree. Definitely steer clear of that, especially since we can't guarantee it'll hold up. And if the fall doesn't do us in, Aperture will. Don't be codophobic. Wheatley's doing great down there. That makes no sense. Wheatley's there? I wish we could say hi, but that's probably not the best idea. Let's just see where the left path takes us. About that. I'm thinking we should split up. I mean, we'd cover more ground that way. You think so? Yeah, maybe Yuri and I can walk through the tunnel and see if it leads somewhere, and we can run back and get you if so. Me? Why not? You like creepy stuff, right? Well, yes, but it's a different form of... Never mind. It doesn't sound exciting. It does sound exciting. I suppose I don't mind coming along. Robbie with Jack and Jenny? Yeah, that's fine with me. Don't worry about a thing, Robbie. I've got you. 
You is keep Robbie safe? I is do my best, and you too, Jenny. Uh, how many times did we save you last time? Three? Just let me feel like the hero, okay? All right, let's disperse. Oh, sheet balls. Oh, you're just gonna hang out here. Okay, cool. Wow, poosh. All right, well, I am gonna end this episode here because I've been going for a, a very long time um, and I don't know how much I'm cutting out, but this is fun. If someone could tell me in the comments who Robbie is, uh, maybe tell me what video series or what video he's from, because I don't remember this ego at all, but he's incredibly adorable. Um, so I like him lots. <laughs> um, but yeah, things are, things are heating up. We are coming very close to the end of what's been released. So I reckon probably one more episode after this um, until we hit that point where the game is no longer, there's no more of the game available yet to play and we'll have to wait with everybody else. Um, which is a real shame because it's been so fun playing through this. I've really enjoyed it. Um, and I probably will come straight in and just start playing the boss whilst we wait for more updates on this because I want to and I love these games so much. Um, and it's kind of cool that this one, especially in this point, is really nodding back to the boss game, which I think is super awesome. Um, so I'll probably come back in the meantime whilst we're waiting for updates for this with the boss. And when the boss is nothing is back available again, I will come and play that one as well because I just love them. They're great little games um, and they're super fun. Um, but yeah. But that's going to do us for now. We have Robbie on team. I really hope, I mean, I'm confident we're going to see all of the rest of the egos. I don't know where they're going to come in. Um, it's exciting to, to be waiting to find out. Who have we got left? Marvin, um, Jackaboy Mam, Chase. And he's kind of, we haven't seen him, but we're gonna we're gonna go, we're gonna jump on it. We're gonna be like, okay, this is Anti. I guess it's Anti now. And then Schneep we've had, and then Robbie. I don't think there are any more. Correct me if I'm wrong. Please let me know if there's any more egos I haven't listed there. Um, but I guess we've got three left we haven't seen, or three to meet that we haven't even had referenced in the game so far. So that's exciting, and I look forward to finding them. Um, but for now, we've got to try and get these guys back so Mac can help them get back to their games and back out of the recycle bin. But for now, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. It's been an absolute blast. As always, if you enjoyed this video, go show that like button some good old-fashioned love. And if you want to support the channel, go hit subscribe and ring that bell so you don't miss next time I upload a video. Stay awesome, and I will see you all in the next video! Robbie is so cute. He is such a cute bean. I want to protect him with everything. <laughs>